insurance forms, tax returns, all of it English. Karina! Which is a foreign language to her mom and dad. A dozen times a day, Becky and her brother George and sister Karina act as translators. I'm 17 and I feel like, you know, I, I'm more mature than what usually teenagers at their age at 17 are. I feel like I'm like, what, like 21? Ellos nos ayudan porque nos interpretan en todo. Sí, desde que llegamos aquí. Becky's mom has picked up a little English, her dad a little more, but they aren't comfortable filling out important papers without Becky's help. When it comes to registration every year, what I do is usually I help my mom fill out like their information, uh, emergency numbers. Pues no, porque yo pienso que ellos se sienten útiles también, verdad, para ayudar a a las personas. Por eso no creo que yo yo no me siento culpable. The Flores kids have had to grow up fast. As translators, they're involved in taxes, finances, even health insurance. Things most of their friends don't have to worry about. I kind of get a little bit jealous that they don't have to help their parents, but we do. Yeah, sometimes I could get frustrated because, you know, I'm a teenager and maybe I have something to do with my friends. And sometimes I have to cancel it because I have to go with my mom or go with my dad. And I'm like, oh, I had plans already. Hoy empecé a, uh, a tomar clases de inglés porque ellas, ellas mismas también me motivan. She's done it and maybe she, she's tried little courses to learn English. Okay. It's a real responsibility. Sometimes I don't feel pressured, but in a way, uh, it's kind of hard, you know? But, you know, your parents were there when you were little, so now you have to be there for them. It's really good what she's doing. I think, and she's at the age where responsibility is a key factor, so I don't think, I mean, if she was like 10 doing this, I think that would have been a tad different, but I think she's at the age now where it's good for her to do that. And it's not like she doesn't have parents. It's not like her parents are incompetent or something. They just have that language barrier. So although she's needed to translate things for them, it doesn't necessarily mean that her parents aren't competent enough to comprehend and understand when she translates it for them. So it's not like she's completely on her own. I don't know, that's another thing I've noticed. People a lot of times assume that because they don't speak English, they're ignorant. Right. Mm -hmm. And that drives me absolutely mad. Really, to me, it's, it's more admirable to see a person from another country who, who doesn't speak English well, who's trying to learn mm -hmm. the language. At least they're, they're putting forth the effort, and, and, and it makes me realize that if I was in the situation I probably wouldn't be doing any better than they are. Seriously, I just, so. like, you know, people that make fun of her just want to sit there and be like, yeah, well, how many languages do you speak? Exactly. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> when she gets older, she can probably even go into something that has, <clears throat> that has to do with maybe immigration or dealing with people who have come to this country. I mean, I think if I were, if I was just getting here and this was a new experience for me and an uh, entirely different world, it would be a scary experience. But also, I mean, you have to keep in mind that it's really hard to come to another country. I mean, basically, you're leaving your home, you're leaving everything that you've known to come to a place where you don't speak the language, you're thrown into it, basically. It's sort of like being thrown into the deep end of the pool to learn how to swim. And so forced to, like, into learning this language, into a new culture, and then having the added responsibility of having to help out her parents. So, I mean, it's a lot to put on a person.